Welcome to the Leadership Conversation with me, Dr. Dennis V. Burke. Let's discuss rituals and empathetic reflecting. What is a ritual? Ritual represent the things we do every day, right? The things that are um, so ingrained in our daily lives that we don't even consider them. Drinking a cup of coffee, um, taking a walk a specific time of day, sitting in your favorite chair, watching your favorite um, television series, might be religion, your religious practice, football, politics. Essentially, it's what we call a discipline, a practice, or a habit but what we need to understand is that ritual should serve us not the other way around we don't serve our rituals rituals should serve us and so I'm encouraging you to examine reflect here is a ritual that's extremely valuable meditate right that's a ritual meditating or reflecting taking time to reflect each day on the things that we're doing the habits that we're practicing to make a conscious assessment as to whether our rituals serve us again we need to reflect consciously and make a determination whether our rituals serve us so you ask yourself why did i say that why did I do that? Does whatever it is that I'm doing get me to the place in life where I intend to be or I'm aspiring to? And if it doesn't, then you have to make, again, conscious effort to change or develop the rituals that will get you the results you're after. Reflecting or meditating itself is a ritual and here the type of reflecting that I'm encouraging is empathetic reflecting that is don't impose values on your new practice or ritual of reflecting be empathetic with yourself this is empathetic reflecting at an intrapersonal level first with yourself stay with me so it's a qualitative and not a quantitative assessment of the benefits that you're getting from whatever it is whichever habits you're living out being empathetic is actually being able to place yourself in another's perspective without imposing your values. So now imagine stepping back from yourself and doing that to, for your personal benefit. Just assess the things that you're doing without imposing a value, but you examine whether they achieve the purpose that you're after and if they don't then you make a decision to change them if they do then you continue to practice them if you need to change the habit you then have to create what i call a compelling why define that for yourself and you may have to repeat it like a mantra until it gets ingrained in your subconscious write it on your vision board make a note on your mirror don't focus on the negative aspect of the thing that this is i need to stop doing this thing instead focus on i need to do this because it produces or it will produce this compelling result in my life i promise that if you practice or develop the ritual of introspection of empathetic reflecting at an intrapersonal level once that skill set gets into your toolkit you will then be able to reflect listen much better you will be empathetic in interpersonal relationships and both your 
self management and your relationship management skills will be much improved. Go forth, do good work. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of the Leadership Conversation. Thank you for spending this time with me. Again, I'm Dr. Dennis V. Burke, and I'll see you in the next episode.